Come in. Good morning, John. Good morning. John, there's someone here who would like to meet you. Would that be all right? John, I would like you to meet one of the brightest lights of the British stage, Mrs. Kendall. Mrs. Kendall, John Merrick. Hello, Mr. Merrick. Good day. I brought you some things I hope you'll like. I hope you don't think it too forward. Oh, no. I knew you'd understand. I'll leave you together. Here. I want you to know I don't go about giving my picture to just anyone. Oh, no. I would never think it. Your so beautiful. I'll give it a place of honor. Here. Next to my mother. Oh, she's very beautiful, your mother. Yes. Mr. Treves says that you work in the theatre. Do you live there? Oh, no. I only work there. Uh, well, even to work there, I'm sure it's wonderful. Is it beautiful? You've never been? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, you must go. The theatre is the most wonderful place in the world. Of course, I'm rather partial. The theatre is romance. Romance? Speaking of which, I have something else for you. Have you read it? No. I certainly shall. Romeo and Juliet. I know of this. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine that the gentle fine is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Oh, good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints have hands, the pilgrim's hands do touch, and palm to palm is Holy Palmer's kiss. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints, do not move. Thou grant for prayer's sake. Then move not, for my prayer's effect I take. Thus, from my lips, by thine, my sin is purged. And then it says, they kiss. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from thy lips, oh. Trespass sweetly urged. Give me my sin again. The 
Mr. Merrick. You're not an elephant man at all. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. You're a Romeo. <laughs> <laughs>